call a meeting to order. This is the Newcastle Fire District number one. Uh, March 16th, 2023, monthly meeting. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence for our deceased members. So cool. Roll call. Have everybody correct? Correspondence? No correspondence. Correspondence. Chief's report. Chief Biden apologizes that he can't be here. He's in uh, his EMR class. Um, the current thermal imaging cameras are out of compliance with an FPA standards. We'll be testing and evaluating two different models that we have on loan from AAA, and we'll propose to purchase two of them to replace the ones that we have. I am taking a uh, thermal imaging cast class at the county on March 25th, and we'll be able to use them there in a live fire environment to evaluate the performance. Um, we are looking to reconfigure compartments in 155 to remove the specialty and less used equipment such as pumps and ice rescue in order to make better use of the compartment space that we have. Uh, we will be looking to have some electrical work done to install battery chargers and charging docks for some types of equipment such as the gas meter and the uh, hydraulic hearse battery. Uh, we're requesting that Commissioner Smith please find a vendor that uh, we could work with for those needs. Uh, we would also like to see if we can use the CERT trailer perhaps for uh, some of that hazmat stuff. We have a bunch of hazmat stuff as a result of that spill there. They donated a bunch of uh, additional pads and, and spill control things that we don't really have space for in any apparatus. So we would like to know, is the CERT trailer properly registered and roadworthy? Um, last time we looked at it, there was an issue about who it was registered to and whether or not it had been inspected. Yeah. I, if, if you're asking, you want to just stop there for a second? Yeah. So um, that's one thing that I actually have to work on because I have not been able to find a serial number on it, and I haven't found a previous registration. So. I'm going to work with our insurance company and find out what the next step is. Uh, do I talk to the DMV? I mean, I don't know where the thing, I don't know where it would be. So I have looked at it a couple okay. of times. Uh, can I just go back one thing real quick? Sure. Um, you say you want to store the, the uh, gas detectors potentially in the outside compartments? No, those will hopefully be able to go in the inside where the radios are charging. Hopefully. Oh, so okay. As opposed spot. to. Right now, we don't have a gas detector. Oh, so you want to buy one and put one on? Yeah. Okay, I thought you wanted to store it in a cap no, no. Okay. We, we, yeah, it would be a new gas detector. All right. We would need a charger mounted, and the, the right now, the hydraulic tool, we rotate the battery in from somewhere else, yep. and we do that on a weekly basis, but it would be better if it was, there was always a spare in there. Sure. Understood. And then, uh, what is the status of the Tahoe? The, the Tahoe, I talked to him last week. I didn't have a chance to do it today. Um, Okay. I stopped by the shop that's working on the new chief's vehicle last week. Um, he's hired yet another technician installer, and the vehicle is now maybe 70% done. He's got the front grill work all done, so the lights are in apparently, and that's nice. Uh, he hasn't gotten, I guess there's a console thing he's waiting for right now between the front seats. He's waiting for that. And he's got the box to go in the back, but he hasn't installed it because he's got other wiring to do. He's got the antennas on the roof. Uh, he has four mounts and three antennas. So we're going to get him a cap so it's rainproof and it you know, doesn't get corroded or something like that. Um, he doesn't want to take the headliner down uh, until he's got some more parts come in and he does it all in one shot. Apparently he's been able to fish the, the cables through without taking the headliner down. Um, the wiring for the lights and the siren in the front of the boot, like I said, the grill's not back on. I asked about the lettering. Uh, apparently he's waiting for some other components can do to keep the truck inside. When he gets these compounds, he can keep the truck inside and do the stuff inside, and the truck will be warm, so he can put the lettering on, because right now it's apparently too cold for the lettering to stick, even though, you know, we're using it around outside. So that's what he said, he wants it to be inside for a couple of days to warm up and settle down in temperature, and then he's going to put the lettering on. So he does have that. Uh, so but I don't have a, a, a date. He didn't give me a date on when. So I'm sorry, I have to report Thank you. Um, nothing on membership. 
expenses were submitted via email in the amount of $44.95. We had 34 alarms in February. The detailed breakdown is attached. Uh, future dates, we are offering a defensive driving class on March 19th. We're doing live fire at the county center, uh, sorry, the county training center on uh, March 23rd with Purchase and Millwood. And we are attending the Mount Kisco St. Patrick's Day Parade on March 25th. What's your pleasure? Thank you, Chief, for briefing us. I'm on the suspenses. I have to make a motion we approve it. Okay, this is Second. In favor? Aye. 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 So carried. Thank you. Okay, Treasurer's report. Um, I will report on behalf of Robin. She submitted her check register for your approval in the amount of $264,241.90. Um, there was a large debt payment, it looks like, in there, so I think that's why the number is so much higher this month. Do you know if by any chance it was on the PL? Sure. Could that be Usually you just have out? an annual in debt my payment. Of that, uh, for previous well, it's just for previous borrowing, so it probably just came due this month. Um, I can see it. Usually the debt payment is for borrowed money that you're paying down annually. Yeah, you just pull it down. Yeah. It's usually quarterly. Oh, here, here. It's a uh, hydrant rental. It says 105. It's a line uh, 8208. Fire, comma, contractual expand. We need approval on that? Yes. Yep. Make a motion we approve it. Madam second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So carried. Secretary's report. Um, the new website is live. It took a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of communications, but it is up and running. And uh, we still have some minor tweaks, but I think overall it's pretty, um, pretty set at this point. So. Um, thanks to all that helped. Thank you for all your yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, you and Rob. You and Rob. Yeah. Wow. A lot of work. <laughs> so, if anybody has anything they'd like to change or add, just let me know and I can work um, on it this weekend. What I might do is come some more on days, some pictures of the upper base so that we can make that complete. Sure. That'd be nice. Yeah, any pictures that you feel might need to be added, I'm happy to add. Is there a resolution limit that we need? Something you need one megabyte or two megabytes or um, five to okay. I'm not sure. It didn't really specify that. The size I was able to adjust. So um, I'm sure I, I can ask Tyler from what you know, the web team. I'm sure anything you took with your phone would be probably okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what he used. Yeah. He was using his phone. Yeah. Did yeah. he use his phone? Okay. Um, and then I just have minutes for your approval. Yeah. And while we were sitting here, I did add the um, parcel tax implication information. So it's it's live and searchable. Do I have a motion? Can I make a motion to accept the minutes? As to accept the minutes? Yeah. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Right. Committee reports. House. Sink upstairs has been fixed. Um, I have 
haven't looked at the train down the Sun Street yet. I forgot. My fault. Uh, just one question. Can you get the lights off the bushes, please? Sure. Not here. And on that side. Sure. All right. And landscape, it's going to be going out. See that? Can I get the message board info out too to get that going? That's really about it. What? Do you have a back door closure that's on over? Yeah. yeah he, he's, he's working on it. I got to see if he's, he might have been here. All right. And did you ask uh, the electrician by any chance about the electrical? I forgot. All right. Again. Ooh, tower letter, right? Yeah. Because right. I really want to get that extension put out of there. Okay. Medicals, nothing, right? So they're not until October, right? The medical talks. Oh, so yep, physicals. I don't, it's somewhere around that range. I don't know that we have an exact date scheduled yet. That's fine. Last year was October. Yeah, okay. we're aiming for that time of year. I yep. don't know that we have a date. Commissioner Frank? Yeah, well, everything that had to be signed by the town is signed. And uh, what Lynn Weiner wants to know is she has all the original documents signed. She wants to know if she should deliver them here and we should keep them in our office or should she hold on to it? She was questioning that. Okay. Can she save a copy at her location just to make sure we have a spare in case something happens? I, I think she should hold for a while. That, that'll be fine. I'll, I'll I mean, I mean, until we get the ball really rolling. Once we get the ball rolling, she can give us all the papers she got. Yeah. And we can put it in the file and stuff. She but it's just in case something comes up, she has the information. We have everything electronically to it. Yes, she, we, we do. But you know, she has the original documents. That's hard copies. Yeah, and she just wanted to know, should she hold them? Should she bring them here for us to store? I, I, I don't know. Buy a cabinet empty? Is there a cabinet empty? The fire one is locked. On that side? The bottom drawer is yeah. partially, but I started using that for truck. I imagine stuff. these are like plans and large. Yeah, it, files. it's all the documents from that the town has signed. Mm -hmm. You know, everything CEPRA, you know, Department of Transportation, you know, site plans, ever so it's drawing to add. Yeah, that's just all that stuff. All right, Can we ask her if it's not an imposition for her to store them for us? Until? Yeah, she could. I think it's okay. Ask it a it whole just, just hold the pro for yeah. now. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll see. And down the road, we'll. Okay. Okay. Um, one other thing, uh, Dean was asking me. I, I, I know that we have those banners outside for the person who passed away. So, Dean was asking. Ruth? Mm -hmm. Ruth? Well, yeah. you know, the banners. They'll, they'll come down in 30 days. Okay. Okay. So, probably, what, another. Two weeks, maybe. maybe two weeks. So Dean said that um, when they come down, he could have another poster or whatever made to put up there, which probably would be a good idea if everybody thinks that's a good idea. Would it be different than what's out here now? Uh, it could be. It doesn't have to be the same. I, I, well, maybe you can take a look at the size and see what he, his professional opinion would recommend. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he thought it would be a good idea. Because this, the, any one of these, this, these two or any new one, it's people are going to be driving by and you know, not going to be able to have a chance to read it. So it's got to be you know, to the point, short, right. bold letters so that they can see it. So maybe okay, he's done to it. But what he thinks, you know, give us an idea what he thinks. You know? okay. 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 So I'll, I'll speak to him and see what you're doing. Doing. I, I, I think most people, like, as long as they're you know, up by the corner there, most people driving by aren't going to look up at the firehouse. Yeah, it's got to be flashy fire. for them to see it. Though. Yeah, I mean, the only people that are really going to see it, I guess, are people coming north on 117. So if it if it says, which are going to see these road, anyway? Well, they'll not, they'll see when they make the turn too. Yeah, if they're not you know, looking out for a truck turning into the gas station, but it's up. Kind of, he needs to recommend what would go there based upon the traffic flow. Okay. I'll, I'll speak to Dean, see what he thinks, size and verbiage and whatever, and 
then I'll, I'll get back to you. Sure, sweet. Okay. Did you want to ask the town to put one across the road Dunks. in the downtown area? Yeah, I was going to say, what about the what about the school? The sign by Bell. Yeah, the sign. The, the electric, electric sign. sign. Well, no, the electric the that, that, yeah. that we have covered. Um, that, oh. It's really the banner that goes across the the roadway. Um, oh, oh, right. By the, the pizzeria and the oh. bank. Yes. Oh, by yeah. Shell Station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually gets put on. Right. So we can ask the town for dimensions. Yeah, I think you just need to apply at the clerk's office. Okay. How long are they allowed to be up? I thought you said two weeks. I think. So, so, maybe yeah, so the one I can ask the town so clerk the one for the dimensions and the process that we have to go to get permission. Okay. And then maybe you could put it there instead of on the building since it would be better downtown. More visible. I think it would be okay. better downtown. So yeah. sure we got two out here. Yeah. And also downtown over by, <coughs> by Bell, if we use the electric sign. Right. Yeah, right. that we can get on that, yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. That's Carrie not can help us with that. that. Mm -hmm. We discussed that. Yeah. I like the one downtown. So I can bigger. I can reach out to the town here tomorrow and ask for, for what we have oh, to okay. do. Okay. All right. All right. Christine, I'm going to send you the link right now. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, anything else? No, that's it. Probably. Um, no. as of <laughs> two weeks ago, I, I, I got, I got uh, sworn in, nice. so that's done. And the only other update I have is for insurance. Um, I was put on the insurance for LOSAP. Um, I've been working with Guion, if that's the Guion. Yep, I've been working with them, um, getting everything ready, all the paperwork and everything else, so I'm fully on board with what I need to be for uh, LOSAP. That's the only update I have for that. Did still? you notify them about Ruth? I didn't. Just give him a call. Okay. She passed on. I don't remember the exact spelling, but it's Askelson. Askelson? Askelson. Askelson. Charlie, are we missing a, I thought like in 2020 or something, that was our last payout to LOSAP, to members that are receiving Yeah. Are we up to date? I thought we were up to date, yeah. I don't know. I can check on that. Yeah. But from what I heard in my discussions with them, we were up to date. Good. Or up to 2022. 20, All right. Because I think just before the end of last year, I think Chris said that, like in October, November time frame, he was saying that he's trying to get up to date before the end of the year. So it wouldn't yeah. well be. Okay, thanks. I'll double check that, though. Plus finance. Yep. Purchasing. Yep. Yes. Wait. Trucks. Okay. Um, I'm just going to say, do it as quick as I can. Uh, inspections up to, coming up soon are 2061 is coming up in April, and engine 243 is coming up in May. Uh, Brian and I generally take care of. Uh, we'll get a driver for 243. Uh, tower ladder. As of the 23rd, the aerial device has been put, uh, the February 23rd, it's been put back in service and certified by the testing and certification agency. Uh, there still is a switch on the pump panel that turns on and off the lights at the pump panel. Uh, it's not turning off reliably, and I'm hoping that'll be resolved in the next couple of days with the onboarding of uh, Hendrickson, which I'll talk about in a few moments. Engine 144, one of the recent cold snaps, 144 was out on a call. And one of the drivers um, was trying to drain one of the gates or the valves uh, to let some of the water out so it wouldn't freeze because it was in the single digits. And the valve stem to drain that section of the pump broke. So um, I'm working on getting that repaired. It's going to be a little bit yet, but I'm working on getting that repaired. So luckily, it doesn't take the truck into service. Um, Rescue 2 3, we had a fluctuating voltmeter on one call and we haven't had that since. Uh, Chief Lang and I went out on a drive and it was rock solid. So we're not sure that it, what it was, but it doesn't look like we have to change anything right now. The mechanic came across the street and came over and he thought it was a voltage regulator. And um, another service shop was here giving us a proposal and they thought it was too, but they're thinking that it's, it's a regulator, but it could be built into the alternator. So he has to go and look at that a little bit more closely. It's either in the alternator or it's going to be mounted on the 
both in some ways. Mm -hmm. to be determined yet. Um, I mentioned about the new Chiefs vehicle build out. It's I'm just throwing a number out there. It's like seventy percent, maybe eighty percent done. Um, he's like I say, he's got another guy working for him. He's a Austin firefighter and a policeman over there, I believe. And he just you know wants to keep his hands busy during the week, so he's doing this wiring. Apparently, he's been doing that for a while, and so that's going to help this. So get out, get it done quicker as parts come in, but that's still his whole parts coming in. Um, Chief Lang and I want to buy an iPad and the plate to mount it in the old Chief's car. Jump in if I ever, if I think we're going to step here. Uh, in the old Chief's car that uh, Chief Lang is currently using right now, we're going to eventually turn that into car 2064. And uh, it needs to have this new iPad, similar to the one that he's using right now in that vehicle. But he's got it cobbled together, kind of held on with duct tape and bailing wire, kind of thing. Not exactly. But what we need that for is it will run the Responder Red Alert app, which is very important for who's coming to the fire scene and various other things that the chief needs at a call. It has the hydrant map, the pre planned orders, the hazmat and electronic or electric vehicle response guidelines. So um, I'm going to work with the installer because he's got the iPad ordered for the new truck and I'm going to get that part number from him and also I'm going to get the part number for the iPad that Chief Lang is using and we're going to uh, see if we can get that. You know, so is it already wired for it? It's going to be, yeah. He's doing that part of, that's part of the installation of the console, the center console that he's waiting for mm -hmm. and the stock and all that kind of stuff. Um, Upcoming in September, our VHF low band radio license will expire. I'm working with former Commissioner Oliveri to get the ID and password to go on to the FCC website to renew this. And uh, a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, Chief Lang and I were in the radio radio room. We made a matrix of what devices plug into which of the new UPSs that we bought, I guess about a month ago now. I forget exactly. And uh, I'm going to give them that matrix so that they know if a new device gets installed in the radio room, they know which one has the bandwidth essentially for that new device because we don't want to overload one UPS too much and uh, you know, we want to make sure it's evenly distributed among the UPS devices. And the leak that we had upstairs, I guess it was over the summer, and it came down between the radio room and the upper bays, um, it damaged our thumbprint reader in the radio room. And I called them, the manufacturer, and they, even though that it's a water-resistant thumbprint reader. They say that it's only good for one year, that warranty. Um, I kind of stuck to my guns a little bit, and I said, this is really not appropriate. If it's supposed to be water-resistant, how come it wasn't? It's three times the price. It, it was, yeah. So we that's what we had in there, water-resistant. Who knew that we're going to have a leak right above it? I mean, it's just coincidence, right? So I'm going to see if they'll you know, make good on it some way. Um, she said she's going to send it over to engineering, which I don't know if that'll pay out or not, but hopefully they'll, they'll do something for us. Maybe they'll give us a cheaper one, which we, are, we already bought, and it's now up in the Chiefs room. So they, they, they switched from the one that they had upstairs for uh, registering new members and they put it downstairs to uh, use on calls. And the last thing I want to bring up real quick is um, was the last, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we had a shop that does field service for fire trucks. And they gave us this nice 20-page uh, uh, proposal with prices and their capabilities and all this kind of stuff. And uh, Chief, ex-Chief Murphy and I sat in on their proposal. We kind of liked it. Even uh, Ch uh, Chief uh, Iden was here. And we kind of liked it. The only thing that we're waiting on, or were waiting on until about two days ago, was a list of uh, references. So we want to just go out and ask a couple of references, you know, different towns in the area, like uh, Colton on Hudson, Yorktown, Briarcliff, Yonkers, things like that. I want to just ask them how they like them. So, you know, maybe we'll use them because they come to the firehouse and they do pretty much everything here. Um, and they actually bought the old field service vehicle from our last service shop, Ruscon, over in uh, Congo, I guess it is. So, um, We'll see how they work out. They, they have a lot. They do a lot. They apparently can do pretty much anything. Plus, if we had to get apparatus, it's kind of far. Right? It is, but they have a tow service, and we've towed places around here, too. That's but, if we have to take it that way, which I can't. They are open enough. Yeah, and they're open. Good point. 
they're opening up a, a service shop over in uh, Rockland. Rockland area. So it'll be similar, but they're going to come to the playhouse for most everything if we go with them. So we just have to communicate with them the, the references and find out how these folks like their service and track record and all that. That's all I have. Thank you. Wait. All right. So uh, nothing on the uniforms, but uh, Chief Lang is. You're going to be testing those uh, thermal imaging uh, units yes. next week. Yes. So uh, I think uh, once he gets back and decides, he, uh, you discuss it with, uh, I guess, Paul, which is going to be the best. We get those things right away for you guys. Uh, those uh, things are very important. Uh, as far as uh, this new website, who's who's uh, who's monitoring? Uh, who's in control of the, the website? No, I'm saying, is that Fly Solutions? Uh, oh, are they, they finished? Yes, they're the host. They're the, okay, so they are, we, we're keeping them on? This is a new vendor. We left the old vendor. The old vendor was Tyler? No, the old vendor was um, 911. Oh, 911, right, right, right. Okay. And now the new one is Firehouse Solutions, right. which I think they're out of Maryland, perhaps. Did, did but we, they're very responsive. Did we like, sign a, an agreement with them? Or? You did. Um, Okay, so I wasn't there. <laughs> it was a, so you say. a long no, time. One last thing you got to worry about. No, because um, I'm just getting emails that, you know, we're switching over, uh, you know, for the new website. So, yeah, uh, but I can um, ask them when the contract will be coming due, so that way we are. Okay. Yeah, yeah well, I'll, I'll speak to Robin next week about that and see what's going on with that contract. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Can we just let me interject here one thing? Do you know if we need any new uniforms or turnout gear for the parade season? Any fighters, new members, and things? We, we definitely need to order some turnout gear. We are working on uh, determining who's close to expiration, who's interior, okay. and uh, getting them down to AAA to get any, them. any uniforms for parade season? I, I, we do have several new members who probably could benefit from uniforms, yeah. yeah. And we'll speak with you. One thing about the website, we did send a letter to terminate. Contract oh, I saw, I saw that. Okay. that I did say. They're the ones that sent us the notification, the reminders. We yeah. just got it. Yeah. 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 In control business. No business modernization project discussion. Are, are, are we going to have uh, a community forum to discuss the project? To my knowledge, we're supposed to. We can check that out with Dean. Yeah, yeah, I think Dean's got a report on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But it says here it's optional. I think we should have it. Oh, you got to have it. Yeah. You got to have it. You can't. So you not have it. You have to have it. No, I think Dean committed to it the last oh, time we spoke. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we need to do, figure out the date so we can do, post that. Do we have a date? I have not even heard that, so no, I don't know. So you're going to have to discuss it with That's Dean. That's something we have to discuss with yeah. Dean. Yeah. Where would we have it? Upstairs, down the town hall. The last. Of Not upstairs. It, it, it either could be a town hall, it could be at the um, auditorium, the, the library. library is yeah. probably the best. Yeah, because we used the library last time. We did. Right? <clears throat> we used the library the last time. We used the bay. This is for the forum. Yeah, the we, forum. Used, we went to two other places too. So who do we talk to if we want to use a library? Is that something that uh, can help us with? No. The library. I'm not you in the library anymore. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I can reach out to them and just see what we have to do. Schedule a date. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> are you, what, what is the timing? Like a Saturday or an evening? Saturday, maybe. Or evenings? I don't know. Everybody, I can't remember when the last one was. Well, we did Sunday, and then we did one on Sunday. What's our preferred date? Would it be a Saturday or a Sunday? Or I don't know. Sunday afternoon? Yeah, I think that's what we did. I mean, I, we don't want to. That's when we used the library, it was on a Sunday afternoon. But we want to make sure we're not conflicting with soccer or other things that are going on, right? So, so are you safe for soccer? I, I think no. as far as sports right now, things are pretty quiet. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think they're beginning, um, baseball. beginning of April. Baseball, baseball is starting to kick in. Lacrosse, yeah, soccer, and baseball start like the last week of March. So 
so we got to be careful. And obviously, we have to work with the schedule. There's still hockey going on with people that just have an interest. So maybe we can find out when they've got a slot available, what day, and then we'll work around those dates. Okay. I will ask you. Anything else? This should policy discussion will be today. I posted all of the policies on the new website from the previous, and we definitely need to yeah, we need to go upgrade. Some we'll, have those. To, you want to have a work session? we'll have to have a work session. Yeah, we'll put, we'll I think that there. you should probably, I, I'm not familiar with your insurance carrier, but they can probably give you sample policies um, to bring you into Uh, Is that going to be used for workers' comp yeah, and liability? Comp. So, so that's what we should probably talk to. Did you check that out? Yes. Thank you. All right. New business. Bond resolution. Uh, First one, right? So there's, do you want me to? Yeah, if you could. There are three things that the board needs to adopt tonight. One is, one is the bond resolution. The next is the resolution scheduling the special election. And the third is appointing election inspectors. Um, if everybody had a chance to read them. I know that they came today, but there was still some missing pieces. Okay, I'll start with the bond resolution. Bond resolution of the Newcastle Fire District Number 1, Fire District, in the town of Newcastle, town, Westchester County, New York, adopted March 16, 2023, authorizing New construction and modernization of the Newcastle Fire District Number One's office, offices and firehouse, located at 491 King Street, Chapco, New York, for use by the Chapco Fire Department. The project stating the estimate total cost thereof is fifteen million two hundred five thousand five hundred and eighty dollars, including preliminary costs and costs incidentals thereto and to the financing thereof appropriating said amount therefore authorizing the insurance of between of issues yeah I said it twice I missed it the first time <laughs> All right. of the bond in the amount of not to exceed fifteen million two hundred Five thousand five hundred and eighty dollars to finance an appropriation providing for the levy and collection of taxes to pay the principal of said bond and the interest thereon as the same becoming due and payable. And then the rest you can just say is referenced and will be posted on the website. The rest, rest of it is referenced and it will be posted on the website, which is ncfd1.org. That's that one. So you have to get a resolution. And we need a um, supermajority uh, vote in favor. I make a, a motion that we accept the resolution uh, for the uh, Newcastle Fire District number one. Bond issue that you just second. second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. So on page number six, I guess it is. It says Commissioner Frank. And do we come to a vote on roll call, which resulted as five and zero? And I'll fill in those blanks. Um, Okay, now. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. 
No. No. The one that starts with resolution. Thirty percent priorities. <laughs> resolution of the Newcastle Fire District Number One in the town of Newcastle, New York, adopted March 16, 2023, calling a special election to be held on April 25th, 2023, directing submission of the bond of a of a bond proposition at said special election and publication and postings of the notice of elections determining other matters and connections put in there and the rest will be posted on the website so do I have a motion motion to adopt the resolution Scheduling the special elections. Yep. Yeah. Schedule a special election. I have a second. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Aye. Now it's the, uh, the election inspectors. Yeah. Okay. We can test them. Yeah. Oh, it's on. It's on here. It's on our Election inspectors. Be it resolved that the Newcastle Fire District Number One hereby appoints Bonnie Gala, Nancy Korth, Kim Russell as election inspectors, and John Russell as chairman for the special election scheduled for Tuesday. April 25th, 2023, for the hours of 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. at a rate of $100 per inspector. What's your pleasure? I make a motion to uh, adopt the uh, election inspectors uh, and the date for the special election. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So carry. Okay, the only thing left is message board. And I'm going through with the chairlift for these stairs out here. I have to get the prices. And then property tax essential for the volunteers. I think Paul was working on that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mike McGorry gave a sample resolution for the board to adopt. Robin had a couple of questions, so I just don't think it's ready for, because um, there were timelines in it, and I'm not sure if we've already gone past that, so we want a clarification for you. Okay. Uh, I have a friend that has one of those chairlifts. Let's see what brand it is. My dad has one too. Okay. Well, I got folders for that too. I find them. They're with the message board folders. I would think it would be probably different for what this would it be is. more commercial grade yeah. rather than. Hey, Mike? It is. Are you leaving? Uh, Sorry, I, I have to talk to you just real quick. It can be tomorrow. How about that? I'll, I'll send you a text. I need an email from from you. Right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. All right. Public comment. Limited dates. Future dates. Next regular meeting is scheduled for Thursday, April twentieth, twenty twenty three, at seven p.m. with a work session beginning at six thirty. Special election and finalization. Project on Tuesday, April 25th at 2023 from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Email any questions and concerns for the board consideration for any meeting to BOFC at NCFD1.org. Do I have a motion? Second. Second. Aye. 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 Let's go home. Aye. Aye.